Today we're revealing my 10 most viral presentations of 2023. These videos have generated over 55 million views across all platforms being YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. If you want to recreate them, all tutorials are available on my channel and linked in the description below. I've ranked them based on my personal preference, with the number one being the one I'm most proud of. Let's dive in and let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. Starting with number 10, the Dune inspired presentation. And for this presentation, I'm particularly happy with the opening slide, it gives a nice text shadow effect on the title. Then moving on to the next slide, which has a nice color palette that we will use throughout the entire presentation. Three part slides with icons and text, easily customizable. And then of course this 90% animated chart that has some cool effects in the layers of the slides. Some graphs to top it all off and then a cool transition to the ending slide. I kind of like the flow of the entire presentation. That brings us to number nine, which is the letters or alphabet inspired presentation. And for this presentation, I went for a cool animated effect with really large letters on the slide, which can then refer to any of the content that you're working with. It's a pretty dynamic slide, easy to customize, and you can really use it in multiple occasions. So these are some examples of the slides that you could use. And this brings us to number eight, which is chapter slides. And for this presentation, I've used the morph transition to pull out different tabs on clicks. It's a really cool effect that you could use while presenting, and it gives a nice dynamic look and feel to your presentation. Also, the colors of this presentation, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. So I'm very happy with this presentation and it kind of blew up on my channel a few months ago. Moving on to number seven, we have this modern PowerPoint using a scrolling effect with an image in the background that continues throughout the presentation and it fades to blue. But then if you move downwards in the presentation, it kind of reappears all the way to the ending slide. It has this website look and feel to it, and I'm pretty happy with how this result turned out. And that brings us to number six, which is the first time that I've used a 3D model in my PowerPoint presentation. And in this case, it was for a car for a Lamborghini. If you click on the slides, the morph transition and the 3D model really work their magic here and can create a very dynamic, inspiring and innovative presentation. You can add a lot of elements that are commonly used in PowerPoint and then combining it with that 3D model really gives that extra touch to your presentation. So I'm very happy with how the 3D model turned out and I'm looking forward to using it more in the future. Next on the list is number five, which is the Rome inspired opening slide. And this slide you've seen on the internet quite a lot because a lot of creators recreated a version of this slide. I'm really happy how my version turned out with the colors and the background image, but also with the transition to the next slide, which is something I wanted to add because sometimes it's hard to transition to content slides in a presentation. It also works in reverse, so you can really use it both ways and have a cool effect of your PowerPoint presentation. Moving on to number four, we have this aviation inspired presentation with a lot of morph transitions and nice elements on the slide. I kind of like it how we use this airplane as a centerpiece in the presentation and it comes back throughout the different slides and you can really add some cool touches to this slide. Moving on to the top three and this is a combination of morph transitions. It was a very popular tutorial where I combined different morph effects in PowerPoint. The first one being a simple transition to move text into the slide in a pretty creative and clean way that you see here. So the smoothness of this slide really adds that little extra touch. We can also transition the slides. So if we have an opening slide and we click adding the morph transition, we can transition to a totally different look and feel of slide. This also works in both ways, so not only from the bottom up, but also from the side. So you can be really creative here. Third one from the morph is the zoom in effect, where you zoom in on the picture and your content appears. I also like this Tesla animation where we can zoom in using the morph transition and having content fly in. And as a final one for the morph transition, it is the reveal effect where you can add some text and clouds and make the slide look very dynamic. I bundled these together since they're all in one tutorial. 
Moving on to number two is this five steps presentation, which is a variant of the purple one that we've seen before, but using a different outcome. So if we click, we use the morph transition to create five or different number of equal columns on the slide, where you can add your own content and customize the slide as you like. I really like this effect, how it turned out. It's a cool reveal effect that can be added to your presentation. And this brings us to number one, my favorite presentation of this year, which is the Porsche inspired presentation. I really like how all the different effects of the previous tutorials came together here and created a cool dynamic presentation for this car brand. It is also a pretty easy to customize presentation if you want to change any colors or text on your slide. And in the backend, this slide presentation is pretty solid. So I'm really happy with how the result turned out. Thanks a lot for watching the videos. I hope you liked them and I'm really looking forward to hearing which one was your favorite. So let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please have a look at my channel.